welcome to Heartland Family Adventures. Today we're sharing a dining review of Sanaa, which is one of our favorite restaurants at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. Sanaa is located inside the Kundani Village section of Animal Kingdom Lodge and is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. For breakfast, it's a quick service location, but for lunch and dinner, you can make dining reservations. This restaurant is well known for its amazing African-inspired menu and bold Indian flavors, as well as amazing views overlooking the savanna, with animals eating and walking by outside the restaurant. If you're new to our channel, thanks for joining us today. If you like what you see, we welcome you to come and visit our channel for more dining reviews and family experiences around Disney World just like this. Subscribing to our channel is completely free to you and helps support our channel. We hope you enjoy coming along with us today. They also offer a nice variety of appetizers, entrees, and desserts on the menu. Appetizers include the popular Indian-style bread service that includes five breads and nine accompaniments, ranging from sweet mango chutney to the spicy jalapeno lime pickle. Other appetizers include the lamb kofta, samosas, a salad sampler, and the seasonal soup. Entrees include the poiki, which includes your choice of seafood curry, butter chicken, braised beef, or pork with your choice of sauce on a bed of basmati rice. Other options include the Zanzibari vegetable curry with chicken or shrimp, pork shank, sustainable fish, or grilled New York strip. Desserts include the Saradura butterscotch pudding with almond coffee streusel, the African triple chocolate mousse, or the Kier coconut rice pudding with streusel and poached fruit. As a more adventurous dining option at Disney World, we were pleased to see that they have a nice variety of kid-friendly options, including fish, the butter chicken, cheese pizza, or a cheeseburger served with two sides and a drink. They also offer a variety of beverages to go along with your meal, ranging from mocktails like smoothies, tea, coffee, and specialty lemonades, as well as specialty cocktails, beer, hard cider, and wine from South Africa. service. So we actually have some stuffed breads. Yeah, some stuffed. So they have like, they have things inside. We have a spicy, regular. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of good options yeah, here. They are big. Nine different accompaniments. Nine That's different. exciting. Cool. Cool. Alright, so we have our bread service. And so it includes five different breads, different kinds of bread. And then nine different, different traditional accompaniments. So we have a garlic ginger naan right here. We have the spiced naan, onion kucha, a paneer parasa, cucumber rayata, roasted red pepper hummus, mango chutney, the tomato date jam, the tamarind chutney, coriander chutney, garlic pickle, red chili sambal, or spicy jalapeno lime pickle. So a lot of choices here. Yep. So we're just gonna just explore through these and see which our favorite kind of accompaniments are. I tried that red red pepper hummus. I've definitely had this before. Oh, yeah. We love hummus. It's wonderful. The naan is wonderfully light. Soft. So good. Just gonna go in order and see how Nice. 
cherry fresh tomato. A little bit here. Mm -hmm. and this one is the, the date. Yeah, I like that one. This one is the mango chutney. I think we had some of this with our lunch today at yeah, we did. the Jasper House. Lovely. This um this is the cucumber. This would probably go nicely maybe with that spicy naan. Pull it down a bit. Yeah, it's nice and fresh. Okay, some of these are gonna be spicy. I'm not sure which ones yet. We'll see. I'm gonna go lightly on that one. It looks like it might be spicy. Yep, that one's got some heat. <laughs> This one looks like it might have some heat too. It's got some roasted red peppers in it, looks like. Oh no, that one's actually really nice. It's got some heat. Oh, uh, we had this at Tusker House too, didn't we? We did. Yeah. They had I a love, smaller version love, of this. Love this. Yeah, they had a smaller version of this bread service. Ooh, that one that one's got some heat too. Okay, and this one I think is the garlic. It's got these big pieces of garlic in it. I'm not sure what you do. It's well, gonna take a little bit. Probably some more bread. Very garlic. Oh, well, some of these are very nice, but some of them have some heat too, so be prepared for that. But it's not like it's not like my mouth is on fire. It's like a slow burning heat. So I feel like it clears the nostrils kind of yeah. the heat. Not bad. But something to be aware of. You can't you're not good with spices. Nope. But some of these are very lovely. I love the naan too. I'm just gonna try some of the naan. What do you think, sweetheart? She tried it with some of the cucumber. Yeah, the cucumber is kind of meat tastes it's kind of fresh, right? Yeah, like kind of like ranch with cucumbers. So very <laughs> well, things you like. Uh huh. She's our adventure eater. Yeah, she is. <laughs> He's not. He's more picky. But they have really good kids' meal options here. Mac and cheese, cheese pizza, chicken fingers, fish, you know, all, and they had a dirt and worms, kind of a uh, yeah. side rice, and a very kid-friendly option. Yeah, a place where you can meal. get a dessert is one of your sides, too, which is yeah. nice. Yeah. So I love that they have adventurous items for those who are adventurous, but kid-friendly items, too, if your kids aren't very adventurous yeah. either. Very cool. So we also tried the red wine flight. So they have a white wine flight, a red wine flight. This one has a pinotage. They have a, a Shiraz, yes, pinotage, a Shiraz, and a Merlot. So um, when, we, when we came here to go to Gico, I think you had a tried. Yeah, pinotage. I had a pinotage. Yeah, and you really liked it. Mm -hmm. And I had tried, I had tried a Chardonnay or like a Chardonnay. It was really good. So this is a pinotage. I really, really like that. That's really nice. Light body, um, very, very fruit forward. Um, must be like definitely get the berry notes. A oh, hint of floral, maybe. I like that. This one's the Shiraz. This one's a lot more bolder. Hint of, hint of spice, more tannins. Um, definitely you get like that berry, like cherry, you know tart cherry kind of notes to it. This one I think you're gonna be probably gonna be a fan. This is a Merlot, but it's got some real like earthiness and spice to it, surprisingly. So. Yeah, I think that one's gonna surprise you. I think you're gonna like it. It's not a it's not a um, very fruit forward Merlot. It's more spice and earthiness to it. I think you're gonna like that. <laughs> it's good so far. Alright, so our kids meals have arrived. So this is the Pumba, Timon and Pumba's basically dirt and worms, but it's got these gummy worms and fancy chocolates and then chocolate rocks on top. So cute presentation. Then Emma got the cheeseburger and the rice as well. And she's gonna try the cheeseburger, tell us what she thinks. Good cheeseburger. She's been wanting the cheeseburger like all day. Hit, hit the spot. <laughs> And you I know, love rice. I you. know cheeseburgers in this. It's, it's a good, good one. Oh, good. We have the butter chicken. 
the basmati rice and beans as well. So they actually, we didn't, we didn't, we went, since we had the bread service, we didn't feel like we were hungry, quite hungry enough for two entrees. So they said for an additional $7, they could give us basically two, two bowls of the butter chicken and then we could share the sides, which is kind of a wonderful option. So Dave's gonna try the butter chicken, see what he thinks. Kind of eat it all together. Let's see what you think. So this is one of the most popular items on the menu. Oh, that's real nice. Chicken's just super, super tender. The masala. Uh huh. It's very different than what we usually eat. That's for sure. Yeah. But it's it's delicious the flavor just the very mild mild heat which we like i think yeah don't like anything too spicy but yeah that's yeah that's and actually, put that over so a bed of rice i think that would be yeah. really nice yeah, together with really the beans nice. too yeah. wonderful mm. most delicious it's super tender it's just like melt in your mouth chicken yeah Super, super tender. I'm sure that's slow roasted for hours, probably. Yeah. So, and, and you're right, the, the, the sauce, the masala sauce, has a nice, nice flavor to it. A roast, nice ro roasted flavor to it. Mm. Yeah, it's got a little bit of heat kind of in the back of the mouth, yeah. back of the throat, but not, not, I wouldn't say spicy. I think this would be one if you're, uh, if you're okay with a little bit of heat, this would be a good option for you. She said this is a very popular item on the menu. Really, and then you add it with the rice, and it really, you know, really comes together, and it takes away that little bit of, you know, nice mixture together for the beans too. These look nice. Beans and rice. Oh yeah. Yeah, it makes it all together. Daddy. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Pineapple. That's lovely. Mmm. It's just very like homey and comforting and it's warm and wonderful flavors. That's that's really enjoyable. I like I like that dish. Yeah. Very good. See the view here from the windows, the wildlife right outside the restaurant. The table right here. Really cool. of our dinner at Sena. So that was our first time eating dinner there. We've been there for breakfast a couple of times mm -hmm. and really, really enjoyed the breakfast. Can't beat the views there. You can watch the animals walking past and they try to have like food kind of sources for the animals outside the windows. Yeah. So you'll constantly see animals kind of coming through um, as you're eating there throughout throughout the day. So it's really fun. And so for breakfast and lunch, um, oh, let's see, I think it's for breakfast, it's a quick service location. Right, Just breakfast. Come in and you can seat yourselves, pick your table. If you get there early enough, you can get a table right by the windows. But for lunch and dinner, it is reservation only. Right. And so, um, and so we didn't get a table right by the window, but we still enjoyed the view. Yep. And we really enjoyed the food. So what did you think? What was your impression of the food, Dave? Oh, it was very, very good. I've always been impressed. It's obviously very high quality, you know, the chefs know what they're doing. It's more adventurous, obviously, because it's kind of African Indian. It's a lot of a lot of different spices that you're not used to. Yep. But it wasn't nothing we had was like horribly, horribly spicy hot. Yeah. There was like up to mild, up to medium heat maybe, but right. a lot of stuff was just real, kind of a mild spice, which is right. and, and our, yeah. our server was really good about recommending things that were to us that were popular, yeah. that, um, you know, we didn't ask for anything spicy, obviously. She said that the butter chicken was a popular favorite, yeah. um, not too spicy, and recommended that, that we do that with the masala sauce. Um, and it was wonderful. It was and very, it very good. Good, a little bit of heat, but not over, overly overpowering. Uh, just wonderful flavors. Um, that Yeah, I really really enjoyed it i would definitely be going back i'd absolutely recommend it and the other yeah. thing i'd say is it's it's a nice option because it's such high quality food mm -hmm. but it's not a signature dining exactly you know for for disney prices they're a little more reasonable uh, a little more kind of laid back um 
but they still have you know they still have a good wine list they still have a, yeah. a bar there with a lot of options so it's, it's just a good option where you're not going to like where they have Gico here that's yeah. very very high end yeah. it's kind of a good option another option that's not right. not that boring. yeah where Gico I would say is the signature that's yeah. a fine dining location then we then, but I would say Sanaa is kind of a good a good middle ground yeah. location you can spend as much as you like or as little as you like kind of you could do some appetizers you could do, just do the bread service and some drinks honestly yeah, I'd, I'd say you could, I mean we were yeah. pretty full we did not have room for dessert because we, we did the bread service and we just split an entree yeah. and that was plenty for us yeah. so I would say I would definitely go back just for that bread service and drinks um, but I really enjoyed the entree and the, and the kids really enjoyed their meals as well Emma's cheeseburger was really good cheeseburger yeah. and they enjoyed the rice the macaroni was good, good. Yeah. I mean Henry wasn't able to finish all of his but they were actually able to like put an assortment of sides together for his for his meal yeah. which was really cool because yeah. um, so he fun. really we did that because he really wanted mac and cheese which is a side so we're like side. yeah sure so she's like yeah I'll just make a meal out of that pick yeah. three and I'll make a meal out of it oh, I did yeah. see some of the other kids with their pizzas the pizzas looked really good yeah. great pizzas yeah. for kids they had those basic kid options which yeah. is really what most people want in Disney I think that's the, the stuff that kids want pizza yeah. cheeseburger you know yeah. chicken that kind safe of stuff. kids yeah. options Emma enjoyed some of the bread service with us she's more of an adventurous eater yeah um, but Henry is not and so nice when you have kid friendly options you can go if you're, you do want to try something adventurous you can try them yourself and enjoy yeah. them while your kids have food that they like as well so win-win on that account um, great service and she came back was very attentive um, very helpful as, as far as um, help, helping us order things yeah. um, Henry actually dropped a piece of his fruit on the floor and we asked if she could bring him back, bring him back some more fruit and she was like of course and she brought yeah. him back some more fruit um, so that was, she was, yeah, really was good. Fine. very good service um, and gave us a, a, a goodie bag to go because Henry wasn't able to finish all yeah. his food and so we have little refrigerators here at, at at the at the resort so we were able to take those back to our room so that he yep. could enjoy those later yeah so, worked out well yeah so definitely highly recommend some if you haven't been here maybe come here for breakfast or dinner if you want to try the bread service to kind of dip your toe in the water and try it out if you guys have been to Sana before and, and, and love it let us know in the comments below what your favorite things to order are we'd love to hear from you and hope you guys enjoyed this dining review we enjoyed making it we'll see you next time everyone bye, bye.